Without wasting much time, let's go straight to the first question, which is, what is annual tax returns? Okay, now you take it from the, the word itself. Annual, it means it's done once. Tax returns, it means statement that you file denoting uh, what is due to be uh, disclosed to the tax authority. But don't forget that the corporate entities don't pay taxes to state authorities, but they have obligation to report on remunerations that they pay to their vendors and to their employees and deduct taxes on same and uh, file returns on that to us. But in this case, which we are referring to, which is the form H1, it relates solely to the remuneration they have paid to their employees and then the taxes that they have deducted from those remunerations, which they have also remitted to the tax authority. Is there a specified period for filing? Yes, please. Yeah, it's between 1st of January and 31st of January of the year succeeding the year which we are reporting. You know, you report on annual basis like this from January to December. So if, it, if it's January to December 2020, then you file your returns between 1st of January or 30, and 31st of January 2021. Because as of that time, you would have been able to consolidate all the payments which you have paid to all your employees. That's good to know. Are there penalties for non-filing of annual returns? And could you enumerate if there are any? There are. So if you fail to file, it's 500,000. So, and like I've always said, the issue is not even the amount that is being paid, but the fact that the organization has a stigma of not complying. So it has impact on how people view your organization. And sometimes you see it's, um, the corporate image is very, very important, if not more important than even the actual productive activities that the corporate entities actually perform. Because some, if you are found to not be compliant with the law, some other people that want to do business with you and just say, no, I don't want to have anything to do with you. 